Failure to store and prepare vaccines properly can reduce vaccine potency, resulting in reduced patient immune response and poor disease protection. As a healthcare provider, you should know how to safely store, prepare, and administer vaccines. This includes determining if a vaccine can be administered based on the expiration date or its beyond use date or time, also known as BUD. All vaccines have an expiration date set by the manufacturer. This is also referred to as the expiry date. This date is based on the Food and Drug Administration, or FDA, requirements for stability data and proposed expiration date from the manufacturers. This information ensures the vaccine meets standards of strength, quality, and purity throughout its shelf life. First and foremost, a vaccine should never be used after its expiration date. A vaccine's expiration date is typically found on the vial label, but might also be found on the vaccine's packaging or in the package insert. The date may be indicated as a month and year or month, day, and year. In the case of month and year, the vial can be used up to and including the last day of the month. For example, if the date is August 2023, the vaccine may be used through 11.59 p.m. on August 31, 2023. In the case of month, day, and year, the vaccines may be used through the specified date. So if September 15, 2023 is on the vial, it may be used through 11.59 p.m. on September 15, 2023. Rather than a printed date, some vaccine manufacturers use a QR code, website, or phone number. Scan the code or navigate to the link or phone number provided to determine the expiration date. On rare occasions, the manufacturer date may be printed instead of the expiration date. Check the vaccine package insert or fact sheet to calculate the expiration date based on the manufacturer date. Once the date has been calculated, label the vial with the calculated date. Occasionally, an expiration date may change, such as when the FDA grants an extension. In these cases, the expiration date would be lengthened. Inappropriate vaccine handling and storage conditions can shorten the expiration date or even require vaccines to no longer be used. Follow your facility's standard operating procedures or contact the manufacturer for guidance when inappropriate storage conditions have occurred. While all vaccines have an expiration date, some vaccines also have a beyond use date or time, or BUD. The beyond use date is different from the expiration date. It indicates the final date or time when an altered vaccine can be used. Alteration occurs when a vaccine vial is moved between storage states, such as from a freezer to a refrigerator, or a refrigerator to room temperature, or when it's mixed with a diluent, or when the vial is punctured. For vaccine products that have a BUD, the designated time frame is not always the same and varies between vaccines. The BUD replaces the manufacturer's expiration date, but never extends it. Always use the earlier date or time when reviewing the two dates. For example, once a vial has been punctured, its beyond use date may be 24 hours after puncture, even though its expiration date may be a month away. Unlike the expiration date, which is determined by the manufacturer, the BUD is determined by the healthcare provider using guidance included in the vaccine's package insert or fact sheet. After calculating the BUD, label the vial with the BUD and initials of the staff member making the calculation. This can be done in a variety of ways. If only one vial needs labeling, write the information on the vial label or use a sticker. If multiple vials or syringes need to be labeled, such as when moving from one storage temperature to another at the same time, keep them together in a tray or resealable plastic bag with a clear label. Administering a vaccine past the expiration date or the BUD is considered a vaccine administration error. Several best practice strategies can be followed to help prevent this from happening. First, Check expiration dates of your entire vaccine stock weekly. Place those with an earlier expiration date in the front so they can be used first. Remove any expired vaccine from the storage unit and discard. Ongoing monitoring of expiration and BUD dates is critical for inventory management and to ensure the safety and efficacy of vaccines. 
Second, always review the package inserts or fact sheets for the vaccines in your inventory. Know which vaccines have a BUD and how to calculate it. Finally, when preparing vaccines and before administering vaccines, always check the expiration date or BUD if applicable. Remember, the BUD replaces but never exceeds the expiration date. Always use the earlier date or time. If you have questions about vaccine expiration dates, beyond use date or time, and potential date calculations needed, refer to the vaccine package insert, fact sheet, or contact the manufacturer. You can also contact CDC at nipinfo at cdc.gov with your vaccine-related questions, including those on storage, preparation, and administration. Please visit CDC's website for more training and resources to support your vaccination efforts, including the Vaccine Storage and Handling Toolkit, Pink Book, and You Call the Shots web-based trainings.